Hi, today we will discussing a very interesting topic, identity as a risk, the case for VTubers. Hey people, I'm representing Jillian Mayer. I'm an artist and a human, but today, I'm present as this various female presenting avatars. Nice to see you. The last 10 years of my art practice have centered around how technology affects our lives, bodies and identities by processing how our physical world and selves are impacted and reshaped by our participation in a digital landscape. Through videos, sculptures, online experiences, photography, performances and installations, I highlight the points of tension between our online and physical worlds, using myself as the test case in experiments that inhabit the increasingly porous boundary between the two. My artwork has had a consistent thread of modelling how to subvert capital-driven modes of technological innovation with the work taking a playful manner, accruing interest and views of millions of viewers from the art and general world alike. But I think we should talk. As the internet initially functioned as the Wild West with users able to create alternative monikers, the push for validity and authenticity came with profiles requiring one's photo as an account headshot and ID license to activate certain accounts, a verified check being added to a various social accounts to authenticate the user to Twitter and FD integration for profile images on the horizon. The framework of a persona with authenticity relating to an individual's lived experience becomes a reference point of narrative identity creation that helps make the internet become more real and function as a reserve of information and less as a surreal fiction. However, questions about realness in imagined state 7 will always be in conflict. The current internet, remaining alongside but separate from real life, offers us a channel of accompanying information to our lived physical lives. Some avid users of the internet argue the opposite, stating that their online selves are a more accurate depiction of their personas as they are not hindered by physical limitations of gender, class, status, ability, and location among others, and offer a true essence of their identity and thoughts. As the younger generations fuse more with their own lived authentic experiences that have resulted in immense amounts of online time, will those that spend more of their lives offline become the minority therefore rendering themselves outside of main global conversations. Oftentimes, to navigate some of the realms of the internet, people create characters to operate as stand-ins for themselves. Their avatar becomes a purposeful projection or idealization of their identity, while for others, the avatar is an experiment with new identities the style of avatars that has come to replace the individual within the vlog world, video diary log or direct-to-camera addressal with self-produced video journals, is the VTuber, virtual YouTuber. Mainly popular amongst Japan subcultures and gamers, topics of general engagement with VTubers to their fan base are usually about video games, trending accessories and light commentary on contemporary topics such as movies, but why has there been a shift to CGI characters in lieu from the in-person vlog creator to a, a virtual stand-in? Is the authentic person identity having presence a risk? If identity is a sore spot of existence, how can we divorce ourselves from our physical body in order to be? Is the first push towards transhumanism a conscious divorce from the body, but with a lovable book cover? Is this the natural progression of the screen name being a substitute for one's given name? In the time of fake news, can authentic content be distributed through a fake spokesperson? Or is there additional value and meaning created from the relationship of the message to the identity of the speaker? Will thought leaders or counterculture thinkers prefer animated avatars as a mode of representation for their ideas when living in a heavily scrutinized world where sharing alternative ideologies expose one to destruction of one's entire livelihood? All for expressing thoughts or beliefs that are against the status quo of contemporary ideology. Let's burn the books, shall we? What are the issues that arise from the freedom of expression the digital world allows and how does this mediated experience serve as a safeguard for creativity in an increasingly prejudiced real world?
I predict that the world of VTubers will soon sweep us. In a current landscape of identity politics, censorship, privilege, call-out culture, and demands of truth and authenticity, I believe that there is an increased push towards the post-body and post-representation of true self. Basically, it's safer to be a cartoon of ourself. And one must wonder what's next. Will we be judged by a jury of faceless internet-based peers if we pick the wrong digital animated avatar? To avoid offending others, cultural appropriation, class call-outs, racism, ageism, ableism, and many other isms is it best to select an animated ever-changing burst of colors and pixels. A glow that fades in and out. Sort of how we have seen ghosts or spirits represented to us through movies and cartoons. Until we have the future and hindsight to tell us what is appropriate, we will stumble through time one day at a time. Signing off. Jillian Mayer.